Gunald introduced Puffy to the world of machine embroidery in the 1990s, and it has made a lasting impact. There's no question that embroidery created using genuine Puffy foam stands out above the others. Widely used on headwear, genuine Puffy foam from Gunald adds interest and excitement to embroidery on all kinds of apparel and accessories. Puffy is polyethylene foam, which is placed on the embroidery surface and stitched directly over. The stitching perforates the foam, allowing the excess to be lifted away following embroidery. There are two basic types of Puffy available. Both are 3 mm thick, PE20 and PE10. PE20 is softer and more easily shaped, making it suitable for outerwear and similar apparel. PE10 is harder and is ideal for headwear. Each type is available in black for use with dark colored threads and white for use with light colored threads. Where puffy will be used, the stitch type should be only satin stitches. Fill stitches only flatten the puffy material. Satin stitches should be between 4 and 12 millimeters wide and stitch density is heavier than for standard embroidery. For type PE20, use 70 to 100 percent more stitches than for standard embroidery to cleanly cut the foam. For type PE10, increase density by minimum of 100%. Puffy must be perforated along all edges, so all shapes must be programmed to be enclosed on all sides. For example, tapered letters like these are naturally enclosed. In the case of naturally enclosed shapes like this circle, overlap the stitching a bit as shown in this simulation, so that the puffy won't create a gap in the stitching. For open-end letters and objects like this letter L, a special programming technique should be used. Stitches must be placed in a perpendicular direction to the main column to enclose the entire shape. These stitches should be placed randomly on the inside edge to avoid cutting the foam and creating a segmented effect. Another technique may be used for open-end objects. The stitches can be angled toward one corner, enclosing the shape and pinching off the foam. Zigzag underlay is not needed on puffy creations, but one or two passes of running stitches called edge walk underlay can help to perforate the puffy for cleaner removal. Some puffy designs include a running stitch outline to indicate placement of the puffy, followed by another running stitch to secure the puffy. When stitching puffy, rayon or polyester thread may be used. A light ballpoint needle, type SES, is recommended rather than a sharp point because the point is slightly larger, resulting in better perforation. For more dramatic height, two layers of puffy may be stacked and embroidered as a single layer. You can spray a bit of embroidery spray adhesive KK100 or KK2000 to hold the two layers together if desired. When embroidering headwear with puffy, you can lightly spray the back with embroidery spray adhesive. Adding a stitched background to match the cap color gives puffy lettering on headwear a crisper, cleaner appearance. The puffy portion of a design can appear at the beginning, middle, or end of the design. Regardless when it is stitched, stop the machine after the puffy portion has stitched and lift away the excess. After the embroidery has been removed from the machine, you may see a small amount of foam along the edges of the embroidery, particularly with PE20. This can be easily removed with a heat source, such as a household iron or heat gun. Puffy can be used for an entire design or as an accent. And as you've seen, it's easy to give logos a fresh look with three-dimensional embroidery using Puffy.